Welcome to Comedy Global. By acing space race, India can cut military spending, develop self-reliance, and what more, deter China. This is Anjana, and let's know more on this topic. As part of the militarization of space, it is critical to strengthen India's defense space capabilities. More satellites will be launched, better sensors will be developed, high-speed communication will be developed, efficient reusable rockets will be developed, and linked infrastructure and counter space capabilities will be developed. The Army's request for an acceptance of necessity, AON, from the Defense Ministry in March to receive the indigenous satellite GSAT-7B was long overdue. The AON is just the beginning of a long and arduous defense procurement process that may or may not result in a purchase order. This will be the first ever dedicated communication satellite for the 13 lakh strong Indian Army if and when the final order is placed. The military lacked its own satellite and had to rely on the GSAT-7A for the Indian Air Force, which was launched in 2018 by the Indian Space Research Organization. GSAT-7, the Navy's primary communication satellite, was launched in 2013 as a replacement for the existing GSAT-7 satellite, the Navy has already placed an order for the GSAT-7R satellite. The proposal to procure the GSAT-7C satellite for the IAF was approved by the Defense Acquisition Council in November of last year. India's military space initiatives in the last three years include the formation of the Tri-Surface Defense Space Agency for command and control of the military's space assets as well as the Defense Space Research Organization in 2019. India also conducted an in-space ex-stimulated space warfare exercise in the same year. In space, an autonomous nodal body under the Department of Space to stimulate private participation in the domain was approved by the government in 2020, but it has yet to take shape. A separate space strategy is also in the pipeline, which would address the needs of the Indian military in the domain. Even if one avoids drawing parallels with China, which has spent the last two decades actively investing in developing space domination, it is past time for India's space reforms to accelerate. This is because, among other things, India needs to step up its use of space for uninterrupted and seamless communication across large geographical areas, navigational purposes, ballistic missile warnings, and superior intelligence surveillance reconnaissance capabilities while remaining self-reliant. While these capabilities will operate as a force multiplier for India in the event that its troops are involved in a conventional military campaign, it is also vital for the country to have the capability to counter its adversaries' coercive space operations that may be detrimental to its interests. Why does India need to augment space capabilities? India now possesses over a dozen satellites for military use. The Indian military also employs a range of commercial satellites as well as satellites operated by friendly foreign countries. Many of these come to an excessive cost and with the risk of service interruption in the event of an emergency. As part of the militarization of space, India must aggressively augment defensive space capabilities, including sending up new satellites, gaining better sensors, high-speed communication, efficient and reusable ones, as well as linked infrastructure. India also needs to procure high-tech jammers for rogue satellites and also protect its own satellites from electronic attacks. ISRO has been working on developing space-based military assets and systems since the early 2000s. However, it is imperative that the private space sector be heavily involved and encouraged in the design and development of specialty technologies in this field. The formation of the Indian Space Association as an industry body last year, which includes 43 companies, is a step in the right direction. The government, on the other hand, must do much more to foster and nurture this embryonic industry and space startups by giving them with adequate orders and ensuring their ease of doing business by simplifying licensing processes and reducing the number of test approvals required. There is also a need 
to raise awareness among government departments about the use and adoption of space technologies in order to improve process transparency and set aside special funding for this. Specific niche space technology for military use cannot be developed rapidly. However, as civil uses of space assets increase and the industry grows, the military will be able to put forth more specific requirements to the industry which may be able to meet them within strict deadlines. With increased asymmetry in the space domain in its neighborhood, India should place a greater priority on developing defensive capabilities for counter space operations. China has made significant progresses in space projects during the previous two decades with the goal of going into space, exploiting and controlling it to achieve regional dominance in this domain. This would be crucial to its future military actions as it would entail achieving information dominance with the use of its space assets. China conducted an anti-satellite missile test in 2007, revealing its growing interest in space to the rest of the world for the first time. This became clearer after China's 2015 defense white paper designated space as military domain, which was followed by the formation of the People's Liberation Army Strategic Support Force to integrate the country's space, cyber and electronic warfare capabilities, as well as the 2006 testing of a quantum communication satellite. According to some estimates, China has over 150 military satellites, the majority of which are used for ISR purposes. Also, to be considered is China's space collaboration with Russia, which provides the former with a broader range of alternatives in case of any damage to its space assets. With India focusing on cutting military spending, establishing self-reliance in defense, and developing deterrence against China's growing space assets, it is becoming an introspective requirement for the country to work towards expanding its military capabilities in the space domain so that it can assert itself as a formidable regional power in the future while aspiring to be a global power. However, the investments, whether monetary or policy reforms, must be made in light of the fact that space is a high expenditure sector with slow but consistent returns. This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.